God's giving to the granddaddy of them all, the back squat, and how we use bands to go ahead and do back squats. Now, I know, again, squats have been one of those exercises where you've seen it done, and most of the time, the way they go ahead and use bands on back squats is they attach the band to the bar, and then they take touch to the squat rack. You're welcome to go ahead and do that, but what I find is, I find that sometimes it's very difficult for the athlete to go ahead and get more of that. Plus, our squat racks are not very conducive to that situation because they're not, they do not have the hooks and the bars at the bottom that most squat racks do. So if you could go ahead and hook it from the band to the squat rack, kind of like what we do with the bench press, then I recommend going ahead and trying that. But if you can't, another great way to go ahead and get that reactive component and I think get much better trunk stabilization, trunk reaction, is to go ahead and use the crisscross setup. So let me show you how that's set up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put the bands over top of our shoulders. Now a lot of times what I'll do is just lay the bands down onto the squat rack. I like to put two sets at each squat rack. So I have one athlete getting hooked up into the bands, ready to squat, one athlete actually squatting. Let me take you through how to teach the athletes how to get into the setup so that they're safe. When you crisscross it, you have one band that's underneath the other. That's the one you want to work with first. Make sure you push the band down and you step into it. And then you take the top one, which is free now because you kept the bottom one tight. You push that one down and step into it and now you're set up. Now the key is when you get done with your set so that you don't have to reset, just reverse it. Push down, step out. Push down and step out. So now my athletes can stay in the bands. They can go ahead and get ready to go ahead and do their next set or they can hand them off to their partner who's going to go next. Very important that you teach them how to go and get in and out of the bands. Otherwise, they would typically bend over, try to attach them off their foot, and then the bands don't stay in place. Now let me take you through the squat position and show you how that's done. So we're going to step in. Let's hook up real quick here. Again, for demonstration's sake, I'm going to go ahead and do it from this angle so you can see me. Obviously, we squat facing into the rack all the time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to position it just like I would normally for my normal back squat. I'm going to position my hands where I want them. I'm going to drop underneath the bar. I'm going to come out and I'm going to set myself. Now the bands are tight. You'll notice as I go down, I still have tension and now I'm going to explode all the way through. That's what you're looking for, that acceleration through. So drop down. Because again, it creates a new stimulus for the athletes to get used to.